I'm Tom Glenn with the Petroleum Quality Institute of America, and this video is about something we hear consumers say from time to time, and that is, motor oil is motor oil. It's all the same. Well, it's not. But I can understand why some consumers might think it is, because if you look at motor oil back in the 1930s and 1940s, what you've seen change is the container. Back in those days, it came in a glass bottle. It was a metal top on it. This is what it looked like back decades ago. Today, it's in a plastic bottle. During that time, it's gone from a glass container to a metal can, to a fiber can, to the very familiar plastic quart bottle. But if you were to pour that oil out into a container, most of it is going to look a lot like it did decades ago. So it'd be, it's understandable why you might think, well, nothing much has changed. You can't see the changes. A tremendous amount has changed in terms of the technology from these old formulations to the motor oils that are on the shelves today. The performance of this oil is significantly different than it was for the oils back many decades ago, even several decades ago. If you put this motor oil in your car today, you would damage the engine. And between this and this, there are many years where there are obsolete motor oils that will likewise cause damage to your engine. But it's, it's understandable you don't see those. When we put these oils through in the lab, we see it. It's obvious this oil is not the same as this oil. And consumers oftentimes base their decisions on, on appearance. As an example, when you buy an egg, an egg's an egg. When you crack it open, you expect to see an egg come out of it. It's going to look a certain way. Not a lot has changed. They're bigger. The chickens lay more. But eggs, for the most part, haven't changed much over many, 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 many years. Similarly with milk. Although the containers have changed, you see a difference in the, in the appearance of the milk. Today it's in a plastic bottle. It used to be in glass bottles, somewhat, somewhat like motor oils. When you taste milk, when you look at milk, it has a certain taste to it. Today it's homogenized and pasteurized, but not a lot has changed with milk. Fact is, though, when you buy a bottle of milk, you can look at it, or a carton of milk, you can look at it and see an expiration date. So you know if it's good milk, if it's bad milk, if it's close to being bad milk. And even if you didn't read the expiration date, when you pour that milk, yikes, you can see that milk is bad. I'm not drinking that milk. I don't think any of you would drink that milk. That milk is past its expiration date. It's bad. You can see it. You can smell it. And you definitely would taste it if you were crazy enough to do that. You don't have that advantage with motor oil. It looks the same. Your car knows the difference though. We know the difference when we look at it in the lab. To us, to your car, using that old motor oil wouldn't be much different than drinking this. We can see the difference. Your car can tell the difference. So how do you know the difference? Visit our website. We have an easy to use guide that helps you read the labels. So you know whether you're getting something that's old and obsolete that can cause damage to your engine, or whether or not you're getting fresh milk. Our website is www.pqia.org. This information and much more is on that website. We encourage you to go look at it so you don't end up putting bad oil in your car.